My name is Laz Alonzo and I'm an actor. My family immigrated from Havana, Cuba. Uh, my mother left the island first uh, before Fidel took over, right as Fidel was taken over. And I'm really proud of, of my family because they came to this country, they didn't speak any English. And through the virtue of hard work, you know, they, they all have jobs, they were able to buy their own homes. The whole American dream thing, they actually showed me that it is possible. I was born in America, so I'm American, off the top. My family immigrated to the States, so they're from Latin America, so that makes me who I am too. And we're black, we're black, period. I'm a black American of Latino descent, and it all together makes me who I am. I took a job on Wall Street at Merrill Lynch because I knew that it would bring me closer to you know, what I ultimately wanted to transition to. I knew that you, know, you had uh, great acting schools in New York. Uh, my family uh, immigrated to the States and they all pooled their money together to send me to college. And I think had I told my family uh, when I graduated that I wasn't gonna pursue business, that I was gonna now try to do this acting thing, I probably would have gotten shot on sight. <laughs> In Hollywood, it was interesting to see, you know, a lot of casting rooms where there were Latinos there that spoke no Spanish, but they looked more Latin than I did. And, uh, you know, they had no Latin swag whatsoever. And I could go in playing a real Latin, way more Latin than them, but wouldn't get considered for the role because they said, well, he just doesn't look Spanish, he looks black. But I think the more and more my body of work started to grow, the more directors were willing to take you know a chance on me and seeing a lot of the work that I did before also helped earn me certain roles. You look at ads and you're starting to see a lot more Latin faces. You, know, you go to Walmart and not a lot of different stores and you're seeing you know things in Spanish and in English. It definitely shows that that they're buying power and just as a culture they're being embraced and and kind of woven into the American fabric.